Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Anonymous Hacker Simulator episode number four now. And it's the day after release. Uh, some of you guys are still enjoying the series. I said I'll do a few more. So we woke up this morning and we need to go to Red Orbit. So if you remember in the last episode, uh, we were we kind of hacked into them. We realized what they were up to kind of thing a little bit. Um, but they didn't really care. They didn't show anything. So we've been asked now to go and visit the actual factory. So surely that can't be good. But... Um, Grab your attire and head to the red orbit. Uh, okay, what is my attire? Where are my clothes? Okay, there's like a thing down there, isn't there? How the hell do I get out of there? Oh, there we go. All right. Go take the item. That must be our clothes, and uh, we're going to head to the factory. Okay, remote control. Now you have access to remote control of your computer anytime, even when you're outside. Press R to toggle remote access control. So, R. Okay, so this is like that tablet thing that we brought, right? Uh, so, I'm assuming this is what we're doing. Sabotaging the stars, right? Is that what we're after? Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Access the control room using the obtained credentials. Uh, what uh, credentials did we get? Not sure what... Oh, we got to enter the room first. Where's the room? Okay, the room must be up here somewhere, right? Okay, yeah, I was right. It's up here. Well, if we have to run and escape out of this place, we're going to be in big trouble because um, this is as fast as I run. Oh, there you go. It's a little bit faster that time. Okay. Okay, not sure what that's about. Hey, who the hell is this? Damn, what a mess. You've got to find a way to get inside and find it quickly. You back there. Is everything in order? Huh? Strange. I thought I heard some sort of an error. Anyway, get everything done before the rocket launch time. How am I supposed to enter this room? Access denied. I feel like he has something to do with it, but... Oh, maybe I can hack his phone, but I don't know who it is. Um... Okay, let's go into remote mode. Let's go into terminal. Uh, we need to... Compile a source a file netstore malware using the terminal if not already completed. So, hang on. First of all, we need to do that. Okay, so this is the net store. So we need to make sure that we uh, we do some cooking. Cook the net storm. Okay, so that's now cooking. So that's something. What does NetStorm actually do? Head to the Red Orbit Factory. Access the control room. Use obtain credentials. Uh, arrow. Is it dump or play that I need next? No. No, because we don't have a deoth. Um, we 
There must be a way for me to uh, hack into their system, right? There's nobody around there. And I have a feeling it's something to do with this fella. Have a look down here. Jeremy Smith, please head over to the production room. Yeah, yeah, just shut up for now. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Take a key, take the key card. Okay, is that easy? Someone just left one on the desk. That was a bit easier than I expected. I will not complain. Access denied. Why is it access denied? Access the database room. Okay. Oh, okay, so there's another room down here that I need to go to. Okay, that's fine. Place is huge. Okay, observer view query. Uh, you're logged in as Jeremy Smith. Find a way to disable the firewall and connect to the main database server command mmap. Well, clearly, I need this IP, right? Okay, so we want to enter... Let's go into remote mode then. So if we end map that MP, uh, the uh, the thing that we got there, so it should be vulnerable to Kerberos authentication 1.1. Okay, so we definitely don't have that. 1.1. It's going to cost us twenty dollars, but uh, you know I think it's going to be worth it. Inject the Mac ID into the NetStorm malware and proceed to... Oh, okay, so it wants us to inject? What's the value? I've forgotten I have to do the inject. Well, hang on. Should we try to use first? I know the use isn't going to work here now, but... It's worth a try, right? See, the thing is, when you don't play continuously, this is where you're going to get stuck in this game. Because you've got to remember so many things. Okay, so the IP is for you. Okay, we couldn't go in via the back door. So we need to do an inject. I'm not sure what the values would be. Maybe I should read what we uh, got again. a worm of some sort. Alright. Inject. Hang on. Okay, so Jeremy Smith. Firewall's on. Console Mac. Yeah, it's it's a bit. We go back into the underground web of our completed ones. Which one did we have to inject into? Let's see if it can refresh my memory.
Okay, let's go and invite intruder. Ah, I get it now. So I need the Mac number. We can come out of there, go here. So inject. And I'm assuming my target file is going to be NetStorm. Hang on, maybe I actually have it here. There you go. Okay, so that's done something. It's injecting into a NetStorm EXE. Okay, so has that... Firewall's still on. Okay, so maybe now if we run the uh, M map, on you. Okay, so we should be able to use. version 1.1.0 and the IP so easy to get them confused inject the Mac ID into the netstore malware right so was I meant to change something here Ah, okay. That's why it didn't work. Okay, so we need to copy that. And then we need to go into the file. Mm. Why didn't you copy? Copy. It. Is it working on this? It does work on that. So, I can't change that value. Uh, I didn't mean to delete that. Can I get that back? Oh, bugger. Okay, so, oh no, look, that storm was injected. So how does that work now? Void allow remote control. Remote control access granted. Okay, so I, I technically I've injected this. Um... What's the command for... Okay, it says burp. I can't remember what the, the, the name is for it though.
Okay, N map. Oh, I've forgotten what it is. Okay, so now we want to use you version 1.1.0 IP is ah, okay was I too late all right we've got to be faster so what I need to do is actually have this ready so Okay, so that's actually ready to go. This time when we're going it, let's restart that system. There we go. See, sometimes you, you just don't have to be smart. You just have to turn something off and turn it back on again. Okay, I'm back in then. About us. Red Orbit is a pioneering space company. Boundaries, human knowledge, and our technology mission. Uh, okay, well, I'll go download that for whatever reason. Um... Not sure if there's anything I need to. How do I? I'm in the computer now. So how? What am I? How do I elevate the. Uh... Literally, don't have anything else. Okay, find a way to disable the firewall and connect to the main database server. Is that not what I've done then? Is this a different computer? Absolutely not. Okay, what if I try and harvest... Ugh. Can I maybe break on by his terminal? I don't know if this is a thing. We could be at a stage now in this game where we are proper stuck. No. Inject. Storm up. See, that doesn't show me anything there. So we've got the next. Okay, we need to read this again.
Okay, so I think that went wrong. So... Let's cook. Let's cook the next storm again. Okay, I can't change that. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to delete that. We're going to press inject. Uh, the value... Okay, and the target file is... <sighs> Alright. I probably can't inject that actually yet. What I have to do first is... Uh, Mmap. We're going to enter here again. I think I've got to be in the console first to upload it. Okay, we're going to restart the system. I forgot about this. Uh, so use uh, version 1.1.0 IP. Now, before I click enter, I think the best thing we can do here is just exit, re-enter. Okay, so that should be good. I'm assuming that this is not the main database, but we could press inject here. We need the Mac ID this time. And the target file is one of my files. Okay, so I'm assuming here then I need to go up, upload, the name again. Let's see, does that upload? Alright, I just wanna... Okay, so I do have privileges level 2 now. But, uh, Jeremy Smith, ID 50,000. Um, why am I not getting anything? So, I've injected it. Elevate the employee privileges. Zero, case one, break two, two, default. Zero, one, or two in current privileges. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not sure how I changed that though. And it doesn't say anything about it here either. Oh, hang on. Oh, it disconnected me. How dare you disconnect me, Enma? Yeah, that's my file browser. I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we want to press use. Okay, we're going to copy you. Your version 1.1.0. And the IP is here. This has definitely been a little bit more complicated out of my... Uh, my uh, knowledge let's see how it happens here now okay so I don't think this has helped me in any any kind of shape or form here has it The thing is, I don't know who's... Am I supposed to be querying my own? Aha, here we go. What's elevating it? Access command room using elevated credentials. I'm sure I'll give him a ton of money and all. Okay, well, technically that's made me admin. Okay, so that was probably a lot harder than it needed to be. Um, I'm sure a lot of you might get a little stuck Yo, on this. Where's my key card at? Did I leave it in the bathroom or what? Yeah, I'm not worried about you. Access granted. Sweet. I'm in. Okay, access the command room, elevated credentials, modify the rocket launch configuration. Uh, do not use a one or state two. State zero. Okay, so... Well, four should be all right then, no? I don't think we can really mess this up at this stage, can we? No. Something doesn't make sense. Oh, how do I get it to go back to how it was? I want it to go to state one, don't we? That's what we're after here. How do I activate this?
I uh, don't know how to refresh that. Okay, that's all I need to do. Is that what I need to do? I think so. Where's the launch room? Okay, so the launch room's this way. Okay, everyone. The launch is ready. Let's get moving. T-minus 10 seconds to lift off. All systems are go. Roger that. Launch control. We're a go for liftoff. Unidentified issue. We'll have to abort the launch sequence. Resetting system. Unbelievable. Another delay. What the hell are you people doing? All right. That seems to, to kind of be it for us. We can just go home. Okay, so this stuff is all from before, obviously. Any news? Oh, launch fails again. Good, they can lose a ton of money. So, Serpent Nexus Deep Dive. We do have this side one uh, for Austin. Uh, uploading different exam pages. I mean, we could have a quick little look at it. Um... Let's see what we get. Uh, Institution, uh, I don't know, new management, ushering a new era. Find the employee responsible for printing the exams. Uh, exams coordinator, you'd imagine, right? Thomas Johns. And let's go harvest uh, some details about them, shall we? There we go. Thomas Johns, let's see what you give me. In charge of the printing, distributing exams, FATICA member, okay, security. Do, do, do. Okay, so we can get in with this cookie now. Uh, copy. So we want to connect. Okay, we need to upload the exams there. So we should have some files. Uh, choose your preferred exam template. Okay, well, we've got two, so actually, let's have a look then. Duration 100 minutes, please read five questions. What is 10 by 10? I mean, that seems pretty easy. Oh, yeah, we've got to go crazy hard. Number two is going up all day long. Okay. Let's upload. Uh... Okay, we better disconnect. Yeah, there should be some easy money for us at least if we go into the underground web here. We have, we've got two new cipher points. Spoofing uh, drain by 0 0.3. Reduce your digital footprints by 
Penalty threshold by three. That could be good at this stage, I think. So the penalty threshold is lower. And then we need to work on uh, the penalty rate then. Okay, so we're going to leave it there because the next episode will be Serpent Nexus uh, Deep Dive. This is probably going to be a tough one. I just found that one pretty hard. It probably shouldn't have been as hard as I made it. Um, but, you know, things aren't always the way they should be. If you are enjoying this and you want to see some more of this, please let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like bell and add that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.